In this lecture, we will study unit parabolic signal. We have already completed unit impulse signal, unit step signal, and unit ramp signal. The next signal is unit parabolic signal. I will represent unit parabolic signal by PT and it is equal to 0 when time t is less than 0 and it is equal to t squared over 2 when time t is greater than or equal to 0. Before moving to the waveform of unit parabolic signal, we will see small introduction of parabolas. Parabola is the part of conic section. When you cut the double right circular cone in a particular manner, you will have parabola. Now depending on orientations, we have four different parabolas. The equation of first parabola is y square equal to 4ax. The equation of second parabola is y square equal to minus 4x. Equation of third parabola is x square equal to 4ay. And the equation of last parabola is x square equal to minus 4ay. Now I will explain three important terms related to parabola. The first term is axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry. The second term is directrix and the third term is focus. Axis of symmetry is the axis about which the parabola is symmetric. If you see the first two parabolas, you will find x-axis is the axis of symmetry because when you fold the parabola about the x-axis, you will have the same parabola. So symmetry is maintained when you perform the folding about the x-axis. In the same way, in these two parabolas, y-axis is the axis of symmetry. Now we will talk about directrix and focus. Directrix is a straight line like this and focus is a point. I will represent directrix by capital D and focus by capital F. Now if you take any point on the parabola, it will have the same distance from directrix and from focus. For example, if this is point P, then distance of point P from focus is same as distance from the directrix. In the equation of parabola y square equal to 4ax, what is A? A is the distance of focus from origin. This length is A and as distance of focus from origin is A, the distance of directrix from origin is also equal to A. Now out of these four orientations, which one is the orientation of unit parabolic signal? In this case, y is equal to pt and x is equal to t. When time t is greater than or equal to 0, pt is equal to t squared over 2. pt is equal to t squared over 2 or we can write twice of pt is equal to t square. pt is y so we can write twice of y equal to x square because t is equal to x or we can write 4ay equal to x square where 4a is equal to 2 this means a is equal to 1 by 2 and this equation is the equation of third parabola so unit parabolic signal is having the waveform like this where focus is at 1 by 2 distance from the origin but in case of unit parabolic signal when time t is less than 0 pt is equal to 0 this means we only have this waveform when time t is less than 0 this signal is equal to 0 so this is the complete waveform of unit parabolic signal in place of y we have pt and in place of x we have time t. I hope you now understand how we have obtained the waveform of unit parabolic signal. Now we will find out unit parabolic signal using the unit ramp function. So the next part is the properties of unit parabolic signal. In the first property we will find out the unit parabolic function using the unit ramp function. You will have the unit parabolic function when you integrate 
the unit ramp function from minus infinity to t and we already know unit ramp function is equal to 0 from minus infinity to 0 from minus infinity to 0 rt is equal to 0 and from 0 to t rt is equal to t and when you perform the integration you will have t square by 2 the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is t so we have t square by 2 and when you differentiate the unit parabolic signal you will have the ramp signal when you differentiate the unit parabolic signal you will have the unit ramp signal now we will move to property number 2 in the second property we will find whether the unit parabolic signal is even signal or it is odd signal for this I will first draw the waveform of unit parabolic signal PT after this I will perform the time reversal I will perform the folding or time reversal to obtain signal P minus T to do this we will simply take the mirror image about the Y axis and the waveform will look like this now I will obtain the waveform of signal minus P minus T and to do this I will perform the folding of signal P minus T about the time axis I will fold signal P minus T about the time axis so we have the waveform like this and you can see you can see the original waveform is not same as these two waveforms so PT is not equal to P minus T and it is also not equal to minus P minus T this is the condition of even signals which is not satisfied by the unit parabolic signal so it is not an even signal this is the condition of odd signals and it is also not satisfied by PT so it is also not an odd signal in the third property we will find whether the unit parabolic signal is power signal or energy signal and this property is the homework for you you have to tell me whether PT is power signal or energy signal once you have your answer post it in comment section I will end this lecture here see you in the next one